This morning, we're hearing from a young woman who's ready to lunge into U.S. Olympic history. Her name is Ibtihaj Muhammad, and she is an American Muslim who will be competing in the Saber competition, all while wearing a hijab. Now, she spoke with our Matt Gutman, by the way, who's doing a phenomenal job in Rio for us covering the Olympic Games. And Matt, good morning to you. You're so kind, Paul. Thank you. Good morning <laughs> to you. But I'm not doing half as well as Ibtihaj Muhammad, who is set to become the first U.S. woman ever to compete at the Olympics wearing a hijab. And she wasn't at all unguarded, sorry for the pun, for breaking barriers and slashing her way into history. Ibtihaj Muhammad wears that mask because hers is a sport of slashing swords and also because it allows her to wear what perhaps she's now best known for that hijab. The New Jersey native now among the most recognized American faces here. You were voted number two behind Michael Phelps to be the flag winner. What was that like? Really exciting. You know, a really exciting moment for me uh, to even be considered and even be in the conversation. Her slashing personal style already making waves here in Rio with security concerns soaring Ahmed says it's in the U.S. where she feels most endangered. There are moments at home where I don't feel safe, and I think that those sentiments are echoed um, amongst the Muslim community, especially for Muslim women who do wear, wear um, their religion on their sleeves in a sense every day. At South by Southwest, she was hassled, later tweeting, I was just asked to remove my hijab at South by Southwest registration for my ID badge. I can't make this stuff up. That tweet prompting an apology from the festival's managers. That fighting spirit and the modesty embedded in her faith, making her a perfect fit for fencing. As a Muslim kid, I had to add long sleeves, I had to add uh, pants, and with fencing, it's this unique opportunity uh, for me to be covered as an athlete and to fit in with my teammates. So this is the only one where you didn't have to alter the uniform or exactly. the equipment. Exactly, yeah. But she's not one to mess with, especially with safer in hand. Hand is up a little bit. And hand. Which is why I needed a quick lesson. Really gonna be a lunge and hit you. No, don't hit me though. Okay. So. Does anybody ever run away from you while you're competing? I mean, I, mean, I hope that's the plan. All the girls will run away from me on Monday. That's right, tomorrow morning and bright and early for this fencer. She starts her competition at 7 a.m. Now, she's not expected to win gold. However, she has already proven herself a winner. She and her sister have established a fashion line for modest clothing that is already taking off across the U.S. Guys, making quite a statement. Thank you so much, Matt.